Wir sind hier bei IAP in Italien angekommen. Maschinen sind schon schwer, da haben rumfräsen, wie man hört. Wir gehen die jetzt mal überraschen, denn ich weiß nicht, ob der unbedingt weiß, dass wir um die Uhrzeit schon kommen. So, wir werden hier auf jeden Fall schon mal herzlich willkommen. Welcome Subi Performance, das ist schon mal geil. Hello? Hello? Francesco, hi. Nice. Nice. Äh, das ist Francesco, das ist der Gründer und Founder von Subi von IAP. And, um, nice to meet you. Wir, wir sind heute hier, um einfach mal zu checken, ob wirklich, äh, es wurde ja oftmals in Frage gestellt, ob IAP wirklich in Italien hier komplett made in Europe ist. Und äh, ich glaube, das sieht schwer danach aus. Wir machen jetzt einfach mal eine Shop-Tour, okay? Let's go! Ich bin echt gespannt, äh, den Francesco so ein bisschen zu interviewen, was hier abgeht. Francesco, uh, thank you for inviting me here. I'm uh, really excited here to see that because we... I think we call, I call you every time, yes. two times a day and we write the whole day. Um, how, how the production uh, product start here, the production line? It is starting here? Yes, the project starts here see. Uh, for the piston and the rods. Mm -hmm. All projects start here. You start with your re reverse engineering, that means that you have uh, the old piston? Yes. Start from old piston and uh, modify and uh, because when you modify the piston with a new material, mm -hmm. a different compression ratio, different uh, power, need to modify and uh, need to do new piston with new project, new simulation. Oh. You can optimize in all areas. Yes. Yeah. See. Is it so that you do with 3D scans? Or do you take the measurement only from a piston? Yes, yes. Uh, normal we test uh, with uh, a manual machine uh, for reverse engineering. Mm -hmm. And after we see the standard project, sometimes search also the profile of standard. And when you do new project, we modify all because when you modify uh, the project, for example, the piston, you need to modify all. Okay. Uh, how the, the story starts? When I sent you a sample, what is the first yeah, thing you the do? First, the engineering. Yes. Uh, see the piston uh -huh. and uh, start with this machine. Okay. to do reverse engineering, test all sides, uh, like compression ratio, uh, the angle of the valve, uh, all the sign. And after we see if, if, for example, you order me the rods, check if can do longer rods, shorter rods, depend. But normally we do longer rods mm -hmm. and put the pin uh, more up. But after when do new design with uh, double bridge or different skirts, uh, we, we develop a new profile of the piston. Mm -hmm. Sometimes customer ask you want more compression, low compression, if turbo, big pressure, want low compression. So everything is possible? Yes, yeah, sir. Okay. Let's and, go. And very good uh, because you can order from me piston and rods. Mm -hmm. We can uh, simulation the whole project together. Okay. And this is very important because uh, when you do only piston, it's better to do piston and rods together because uh, the project is uh, better. Okay, then I have direct one question. Uh, what do you think about the axis of a piston pin in a race car engine? Uh, in race car, I think uh, I don't like because uh, normal uh, this is a system uh, is important for uh, original car See. or street car because uh, this is important for have uh, less noise Yes. Uh, but when uh, engine uh, is racing, 
-hmm. it's no need uh, the axis mm -hmm. because I think uh, have uh, low friction without the axis. So you mean that uh, uh, that the friction on the D-axis piston is less than on the uh, uh, no, it is more. It's more yes. It is more. So but it's good because sometimes when uh, engine start when cold, if the axis you have low noise. This is important okay. for noise. But, but not for only noise. noise. No, no yeah, for no noise. for pressure. No, 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 no. Okay. Absolutely. Okay, cool. Then I see here are some other machines. And uh, can you tell us uh, something about this? Yes. So here haben wir um, die Abteilung, um die Härte der gegebenen Samples zu, äh, zu messen. Hier haben wir äh, bekannte Hersteller, die wir ein bisschen undercover machen, ähm, wo die Härte jetzt gemessen wird, mit Hilfe von diesen beiden Gerätschaften. Äh, Francesco, show me. You, you, you get here the samples yes. and you can measure the, the hardness of yes, the, no this material. So er, er kommt, er geht hier auf die Oberfläche und drückt da einmal drauf und dann sieht man, 36,4 HRC hat das Teil. So, that is a China rod. Yes. And what is with the Italian RP rod? Uh, silver, gold. Make silver. Silver is the Einstiegsvariante. Average. Okay. And all area you have something about 43 HRC. Uh, how important is the uh, HRC for a good piston or a good rod? It's an easy test to understand the the quality of material. Okay. Because for us, is uh, material is more stronger. Mm -hmm. It's about uh, 1,400 megapascal. This 43.9 is about 1,400 megapascal. Mm -hmm. And this, you understand the, the stress of material. But also import important is uh, uh, um, which uh, el el elasticity of, elasticity. Ma yes, yeah, of right. material. And it's uh, like 11, 12 percent first of broken okay. so you can deform material and uh, after broken so uh, kurz zusammengefasst man kann dieses pleuel in etwa um mit dem mit der qualitätsstufe hier silberline um 11 prozent längen bevor es abreißt um, this one you said so shiner was a seven percent yes yeah, about okay and this is gold gold ah, okay it's this a, is a mclaren the mclaren rod You do rods for McLaren? <laughs> yeah, for the people who want McLaren. 50? Yes, 40. How much stretch more? It's about 1,900. Okay. And this have, uh, for this uh, hardness, it's important not only hardness, but also the material can do longer. So this is about 9-10%. 19? Yeah, 9, 9, 9. Ah, 9, uh, okay, okay. And what is with platinum? Platinum is about 55, 54, okay. and uh, in same uh, 9%. Is that why the platinum rod is in, uh, normally lighter? Because you can do it thinner yes. and have... Yes, the weight for, from entry level to platinum is every time more light because the material is better and, and you can, can project it yes okay i okay. understand okay i see i see here um he is just designing a, a piston design is that the right which piston is it porsche so I'll also here started the uh, engineering for piston yes. not only rod pistons the piston rods and piston okay and um, when it is ready what is the next step When it's ready, the, the project, uh, we go in the production line. Yes, show me. We turn, yes, go. <laughs> I think that is my dreamland. Here are CNC's, robotics. Yes. Here I have software. Okay. We check all production line for understand the, what people need to machining. For example, this is a milling of the head and now need to do this and after finish uh, need to do this and this is uh, milling uh, inside and here is turning all okay. production is uh, i try to translate here wird is the uh, abdreharbeit quasi die dreharbeit des kolbens hier ist uh, der uh, der kolbenkopf quasi hier hier sieht man ist der uh, kolbenkopf noch nicht gefräst der wird hier gemacht und hier unten wird der kolbenboden komplett gefräst das ist der kolbenboden okay Normal the people 
Okay. When finish the operation, you have application, for example, uh, need to do this more, click. It is how many people, piece, pieces you do, for example, 20, okay? It's more 20 of this board, for example. Okay. And when you push, change automatic in the whole area. So that means you have here a complete automation? Yes. That's perfect. How much piston you can do on a day? Uh, now it's about uh, 80 for day, but I think uh, in the next uh, year we can arrive to 100, 120. The machine's running 24 yeah. hours, volle 24 Stunden, den ganzen Tag laufen die CNC hier. Okay. The piston start from here. This okay. is one forging. You can show. This forging is from Italy. Yes, yes. Forging from Italy. This is for GOT2. It's our silver line. And this is the same forging, but okay. it's 2618. Uh, Francesco hat hier einmal zwei Legierungen, 4032 und 2618. Die 4032er Legierung verwendet man lieber so im Straßengebrauch. Das bedeutet bei so einem Silverline-Kolben. Denn der dehnt sich ein bisschen weniger aus, der kann zwar weniger Druck aufnehmen, weil er, sagen wir mal, in Anführungsstrichen nicht so stabil ist wie der 2618er, ist aber für den Straßengebrauch einfach besser zu äh, verwenden. Ich sag mal, bei einer Literleistung, what do you think, how much horsepower per liter is good for 4032. I think uh, it's about uh, 100... Uh, 50? Yes. 150, 200, something like yes, this. Yes. Yeah. Uh, per, per, liter. per liter, that means 2 liter, 400 PS, but you love 2618. Yes, for, I think for engine uh, natural aspirated and the low boost uh, pressure uh, in turbo engine. See. When you want to do a uh, big pressure or uh, I need to use 2618. Okay. I'm also 2618. Well, I have seen uh, so much piston. If you have a knocking engine, why the fuel pressure going down? The 4032 uh, can melt it instantly. The 2618 is strong. And very important 2618 is uh, heat treatment. Heat treatment. It's no easy to do. Yeah. And uh, this is very important. Platinum line. Okay. Uh, platinum line is from billet, forging, and after heat treatment, after machining, and after machining with a small hole, we do another treatment, and uh, after machining. This is important because uh, it's uh, low stress in the piston, and uh, it's the best, straight. What is the difference between a gold and a platinum? Okay, gold old piston is 2618, and we start normal with with, uh, with this one. forging, and uh, sometimes also billet, but billet we have treatment. When you do platinum, compare with which which piston design it is. Uh, yes, so all design is okay, but the problem is platinum. It's important because after machining, See? we do also a hole, and after make the heat treatment. Okay. This is very important. When you do gold, the, the, the forging is no have hole. Mm -hmm. Machining and finish. This okay. is do hole and do the, um, the heat treatment. The heat treatment, right. Yeah, this is very important to do the best. Okay. Also, ganz kurz zusammengefasst, um, bei dem Platinium wird uh, das heat treatment nochmal zwischendurch gemacht und äh, es ist dann am Ende der stabilere Kolben. Der Goldkolben wird, äh, beim, wird fertig gefräst und wird da zum Heat Treatment gegangen. Um, okay, so hier I, I see. Okay. This is the, the first step. Okay. Is the turning the forging like this? You see? This is the first step. We do with this machine, okay? With turning machine. Okay. After this, we put this piston in uh, milling, and we arrive here. This is the first step. Mm -hmm. You see which piston is it now? Golf Seven. Ah, this is Golf Seven. Okay. Yes. Okay, I see it here because of this one. Yes, yeah. yes, but that's the first step. What's the second yes. one? After this. This piston going turning machine. 
Okay, also hier wird der Kolben vorgefräst, dass er so dann aussieht. Und dann haben wir hier zwei Drehbänke stehen, die so wie das aussehen, den ganzen Tag nur die Dinger rund machen. After we have turning, Takisawa. And uh, like this picture, now we have the groove and uh, the flat top. Okay, you're doing the grooves here for yes, the rings. Yes, yes. These grooves here are super sharp. Yes, yes. I want to do sharp. You want to do it? Yes. Because it can seal good. For me, very easy to do no sharp because it's one uh, operation in the light. Yeah. It's very easy, but uh, the rings... Then it can seal good? Yeah. Okay, I understand, okay. Can we take a look how it works? Yes. This is the next step. Okay. Is to do the head of piston and machining all piston. The head. Which piston is it? It's this is a Alpha uh, 4C. You do for all, all cars. Yes, right? yes. C. This Alpha 4C. After this, we go in the uh, diamond finish to do the profile of the pistons and the board. Mit Profil meint er, dass ein Kolben, der ist nicht unbedingt immer rund. Der ist oval, der fällt in die Richtung ein, der fällt in die Richtung ein. Und das ist sehr, sehr kompliziert auf einer CNC zu machen, beziehungsweise auf einer äh, 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 Drehbank. Denn die muss ja über, übertrieben gesagt oval bohren. So, uh, you just said you make the profile. Yeah. The profile is not round. No, no. So you need a special CNC lathe. Yes, yes. This room here is climated. Dieser Raum ist klimatisiert, weil der braucht besonders präzise. Also diese Maschine ist eine Takisawa. I think Takisawa is one of the leading companies for uh, uh, this oval machining lathe, yeah, right? Yeah. And now we check the bore uh, when do production line uh, with uh, laser, with Toyo, for example, to check the bore. Okay. And uh, this system with the laser. How it works, I see here, here is a laser between here. Yes, yes. And you can put it here yes, down. Yes, we have this because uh, have the hole. Okay, I understand. Stop the hole. Yes. And it is super fast. Look, yes. uh, guck mal hier unten. Du kannst das hier draufstellen. Man muss es natürlich richtig ausrichten. Und innerhalb von kürzester Zeit wird da der Durchmesser gemessen. But you can, you have to adjust the height. Yes, yes, every time you need to adjust the, the height where you need to... Ah, okay. Dann schaut mal, wenn ich jetzt hier hochdrehe, den Kolben, dann misst er natürlich weiter unten und dann sieht man ganz schnell... Yeah, sure. Der, Because big piston it is, so big, uh, it is wider, bore, right. Yeah. Okay. Nice. Except, If you want, you can check also the bore in the top, for example. Wow. That is uh, 0.6 millimeters. Yes, yeah. Seven nearly. Uh, but it's normal that the, yeah, the, the, normal the because the piston in the top uh, have more temperature, more yeah. deformation, and uh, so it's important to do correct profile. Mm -hmm. Also der Kolben muss oben enger zu werden, natürlich das das wissen wir auch, aber dann weil der kriegt morgen deutlich mehr Temperatur und expandiert da mehr mm -hmm. und wenn man das nicht machen würde, dann würde der natürlich da oben schnell fressen. Okay, nice. Okay. Next step. Also wir müssen eigentlich äh, noch mal kurz hier auf die Maschine eingehen. Also ich finde es faszinierend, dass während dem Drehvorgang das Werkzeug rein und raus fährt. It is like this. Uh, while turning, the machine tool goes up and down yeah. for get the, over, the yeah. oval of the Because, piston. Uh, we need to do uh, the profile, yeah. oval and... Uh, That's a crazy machine. Yeah, yeah. It is a super small machine yeah, like yeah, this. It's not normal like <laughs> Ja, das ist, keine, das ist keine Drehbank für 50.000 Euro. Ich denke, da stehen schon eine halbe Million Euro oder so. Um, how accurate is it? Ah, this is 0.01. 0.001, I think. One thousandstel. Yeah. Auf 1.000 mm genau. Ah, geil. Guck mal hier. Er kann uns da zeigen, wie das Kolbenprofil aussieht. Also das ist quasi das seitliche Kolbenprofil, was die Maschine abfährt. Incredible. Super nice. Thank you.
So und tatsächlich, man kann die größten und tollsten CNC-Maschinen haben. Die Handarbeit ist am Ende immer noch gefragt. Yes, you can have all machines, but you also have to work by hand. Yeah, sure. What he is doing here? Uh, this is uh, because when exit from machine, need to smooth the uh, whole uh, edge of the pistons. It's yeah. very important, but this is important for the piston, for the people. Also, this is the quality. Yes. You can machine it with the CNC, but it is not worth it. No, because when you do turning and after you do profile, you have, you have, uh, yes, yes. So that means this is a piston was nearly ready. Yes, this is a after of this. You need to do the coating. Coating. Okay. And after uh, honing the hole. BMW N45? Uh, yes. 54. 54. 54. 54. 54, right? So, uh, galvanic? Uh, this is no silver line. This is silver line. Yes. So now we go over to the quality control yes. and the coating. Yes. Gucken wir uns das mal an, die Beschichtung und die Qualitätskontrolle. Das hört hier gar nicht auf mit CNC Maschinen. It is like a labyrinth of CNC machines here. <laughs> Yes, I think in the next year I move in the new area biggest because... Uh, How much CNC machines are here? I think 20. Tw you think 20? Think you yes. don't know? Yes, I don't want to see. <laughs> <laughs> da gehen wir im nächsten Video drauf ein. Das sind Pleuel. Also so wie ich das sehe, wird glaube ich hier alle Pleuel werden hier gemacht. Denn hier ist alles nur Stahlbearbeitung. Uh, this here, for example, have some Lamborghini mm -hmm. in Kroating. Wow. Uh, this is a special process uh, for the um, for the Lamborghini Halusil cylinder. See? It's not normal because when we do normal piston, we do only one uh, time coating. When we do Halusil, it's a special process and we need to do two time and after also one day. So you need a special coating yes. or, and special rings? Yeah, special rings with PVD. For this model, we use uh, total seal rings okay. with second rings in PVD mm -hmm. and uh, special hot rings, a special first ring. So the, the coating is not by hand, it is uh, automatically by a machine? Yes, uh, because uh, some, some company do with spray coating, See? but the perfect of do is the, this is, uh, you see, it's no in cooking now, this special coating with this machine in the printing system yeah this is uh, this some Lamborghini here with special coating and uh, after the coating it have to go in the oven yes yes okay okay that is uh, the best way to do it for yes. repro reproduce yes. always the same yes, thickness so same thickness. yes okay. because uh, all printing have a different uh, mesh mm -hmm. to do different thickness. That all the... Where's, where's Subaru? I want to see Subaru mesh. <laughs> this Subaru, yes. How would you make that? Yeah, this special uh, system. <laughs> 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 uh, undercover. <laughs> Man sieht schon, die machen sich hier schon ein bisschen Gedanken, um das zu optimieren. Oh, hier also Subaru. Yeah, this is error. Make coating in the silver line. Okay, but after uh, I send you, no problem. <laughs> <laughs> so after the coating, yes. what's the next step? Next step is we will honing uh, the, the hole of the, the piston pins. Pin. Yes, piston pin with special tools, single stroke. Okay, can you show me? Yes, You no know problem. I'm interesting on tools. Yes, 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 <laughs> I show you. Mal, uh, yes, so also the tools, no problem. Okay, wir schauen uns gerade mal an, uh, wie der uh, Kolbenbolzen Bohrung, wie die gehohnt wird. Das wird hier über ein spezielles Verfahren gemacht, nicht so wie ich das mache mit so einer normalen Hohnmaschine. Okay, hier sind wir angekommen an einer äh, schicken Sunnen Horizontal Hohnmaschine. Ähm, Francesco, hier you hone the piston pin with special tools. Ja, yeah, ja. Yeah. Uh, special tools. It's like this. Okay. And this is uh, the piston go inside and the exit, finished. And one this stroke. One yes, stroke. Yes, throw. And this is uh, we can have uh, error maximum 0.003, 0 0.02. 3000 bis 2000 uh, uh, Fehlerquote, sagen wir, oder und, uh, Unterschied. Can, can you show me? Yeah. 
Is it expensive? Yes, very expensive. This is another model, better. Okay. Uh, but there are no honing stones on it. Is it only with, um, uh, with paste? Yeah, this is uh, why it's important. Because these tools is, uh, is no erased material. Okay. But to put pressure on material. Ah. So it is better on this material. Stable, uh, more, okay, I understand. Nice. Also hier wird äh, der Kolbenbolzen gehohnt mit dem Werkzeug und er schneidet das nicht daraus, das Material, sondern er presst es weg und verdichtet das Material in, an der Stelle und somit ist es da stabiler. Ich versuche es einfach mal so zu sagen, also ich gehe mal schwer davon aus. Okay, okay. hier you see, ähm, also man sieht, die machen wirklich nicht nur Pleu und Kolben, ich weiß überhaupt nicht, wie die das alles auf eine Reihe bekommen. You also do clutch. Yes, yes. No many why, people. Why? why? Uh, because uh, you start with yeah, it. start with clutch and uh, people ask, but this is uh, expensive clutch because it's full billet. The flywheel is full billet. Everything yes, is yes, billet. Yes. You are Mr. Billet. Everything is billet here. Billet and forging. Yes. <laughs> billet and Depend. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Here is also a climated room, right? Yes. And um, here is the quality control. Here. Yes. Here. We do uh, control with robot and uh, with camera. Now put camera, for example. Yeah. But first to enter, need to use one uh, sensor okay. to put in the correct uh, angle in the machining. Wow. I think this is really impressive. Yeah, this is uh, uh, very good. And uh, this is uh, who make this project is Italian RP. Uh, together with uh, Demur. Demur is a company make uh, robotic uh, for us. Okay. Yes, it's a Sicily company. But it, I think that is simply impressive here because uh, you want to say me you every piston you check. Yes. yes. You have 100% quality control. Yes. Uh, because we work for racing and for uh, important engine mm -hmm. like this is a Lamborghini Huracan Turbo. Uh, we cannot uh, have a problem, we want See. to control all 100%. I think no any company uh, make 100% because it's very crazy. And uh, I think uh, we can do only with robotic. And when do this uh, all sites, we print in uh, one report mm -hmm. and we print number uh, with On weight. The piston, yes, number. in the piston with, uh, with weight okay. and uh, we print logo. And after, if you call me in two, after two years, I know which bore is, which weight. This is very important. You know, you know already. Yes. Okay, also nochmal ganz kurz zusammengefasst. Wirklich jeder Kolben, der hier produziert wird, geht am Ende über dieses Band, wird vermessen, wird gemessen, kriegt eine Seriennummer eingelasert. Und er weiß einfach in zwei, drei Jahren noch, how much, uh, wie groß er war, wie viel Gewicht er hatte. That is uh, incredible. Because that's why maybe this uh, piston costs 50 or 100 euro more than from other companies. But here's 100%. I show you the record. Every piston test with number. Okay. You show? This is all tested. 39 now. 39 pistons. Now you see when put logo. The piston now going the, for check the weight. Okay. Now send the details of the to the computer. Yes. Now start to print the logo. <laughs> Great. So every company uh, who ordered uh, maybe 50 sets of piston gets with get it with a logo. Yes, yes. Okay, that is uh, nice. Also jeder jeder der hier meint 50 Sets zu bestellen kriegt noch seinen Namen in einem da eingelasert. Cool. The last number is 39. See, that's the serial number of this piston now. So, jeder, jeder call hat hier seine eigene Seriennummer. That's impressive. Ich, I have a new favorite word for here called impressive. Ist der Kolben fast fertig und muss nur noch verpackt werden? Das schauen wir uns jetzt nochmal an. Okay, here, here, is the, uh, here is the packaging area, right? Yes. Here you. Oh, you have here a lot of packages. <laughs> yes, yes. It's very important the packaging, and when finish the piston after uh, the quality control, mm -hmm. the piston uh, 
go up with uh, automatic system mm -hmm. with uh, modular for example this is golf 7 uh, golden line yeah. i think you are there many <laughs> i think also yeah. yes and after here the people put in the box check which you see check the with high is have some mistake uh, of some scratch uh, the last quality control yes last quality control okay after he call the rings now we have here but i can show you when uh, call the rings arrive the rings you check see. okay that that i'm i think that is uh, it looks like a not important job but this is very important this the quality the most important. Uh, yes because uh, many people touch the pistons see. and in the final packaging the people need to understand if uh, some problem, some mistake, uh, no quality, but to to mm -hmm. to see the piston is not have any scratch uh, like this. You know, I, I I I have a lot of piston in my hands from any companies, and this packaging is really the best packaging. Thank you the, very uh, much. Guck mal bitte. Also, es ist jetzt noch nicht ganz fertig. Der Kolben kommt so hier an. Der ist vollständig eingebaut. Also, in ich würde behaupten. How much euro cost only the, the box? I think uh, box and all inside, I think arrive also to 10 euro. Also 10 euro kostet die Verpackung. Keine Frage, das ist der, der Kolben, das, aber das macht das, das wäre nicht notwendig. Es gibt genug Hersteller, die das einfach in den Karton ballern und haben dann Feierabend, verstehst du? Und, sind dann, und dann kommen da Katschen dran und so, aber er geht hier auf hundertprozentige Sicherheit. Und ich sag mal, wenn, man, wenn so ein Karton auf, äh, herkommt und man macht den auf, dann hat man auch ein gutes Gefühl. Packaging is uh, important. You know where's champion in packaging? After you? Yes. I, I, uh, Apple. Apple yeah. The Apple package always perfect. Yeah. It's like this here. Nee, because it's very important. Yeah. Because we, we, when we sell the piston and rods, mm -hmm. we want to sell jewels. Because jewels, it's, uh, it? yes, it's very important yeah. for us. Yeah. And our piston is important all sides, check 100%. And for us, this piston is, is need to go inside the engine, mm -hmm. but also the engine is enjoy to use this piston. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yes, you know, I, I know this piston installation sheet and I feel, found it pretty impressive that you give here the honing. It's uh, very important for the rings. Uh, cross hatch on and the RI and RZ. Yes, this one. That is n not every uh, piston. Many people install and have a problem with rings because it's not correct honing. Right. And uh, this is very important. They for need oil, uh, bed sealing, everything. Yes. Sometimes right. we see engine work uh, from customer do correct uh, honing. Mm -hmm. It's like uh, new, the piston and the rings. And the customer no use correct honing. The rings is like... Uh, the diameter after, is okay, but yes. the, the surface is bad. It's, right. it's no good. Okay. Also, um, noch mal ganz kurz zusammengefasst. Also, wir haben hier eben das Installation Sheet und er gibt hier die RZ und RA Maße, die Rauigkeit der Oberfläche der Zylinderwand an, den hohen Winkel, den er sich gerne wünscht, hier die genauen ähm, äh, Gap Maße vom Kolbenring, also hier wird wirklich auf alles mögliche geachtet, wo am Ende, ich finde dieses Gesamtprodukt, das stimmt dann einfach, verstehst du, ich will jetzt hier kein, doch ich will es natürlich, ich will es natürlich bewerben, aber wenn man das so in der Hand hat und dieses Gesamtprodukt sieht, dann überzeugt das einfach. You can see, like jewels. <laughs> he is polishing. <laughs> yes. Ah, okay. When there is a damage. Uh, no, 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 normal. All ah, no, like all piston. Yes. So all piston will get a small polishing. Yes. If silver line. Yes, all piston, all piston. Also, all, all golden line, also in this area. Okay. Only then it looks like a jewel. Yes, it is important. <laughs> it is important. Yes. Okay, when it's ready, it yes. go all, uh, down with the... Uh, yes, now this is a piston arrived from quality control and all piston need putting in the box. See. When I uh, put this piston, I can show you when uh, for pick up the rings, pins, hole inside here. Also, das sind diese Paternoster Regale, von denen ich schon mal geredet habe. Und das ist ein Modula und das geht 8 Meter da unten in die Tiefe oder in die Höhe. Und es ist so praktisch, weil schaut, wie viel Lagerfläche er hier hat. Sorry, that was my mistake. Yes, no problem. Einfach mal in die Lichtschranke gegriffen. <lacht> Typisch Andi. Wie man schon sieht, das Regal ist schwer. It is heavy, right? Yes. With a lot of pins. Hier sind überall Kolbenbolzen-Pins äh, drin. 
on um, now you you choose the right uh, piston pin for the, yes, the set yes. they have one laser and you check where is the items ah, no okay. need to, sh to to see because for no have mistake the laser is uh, uh, saying which you okay. need yes for example now where is here here you see okay the laser said you uh, green okay. say this this so for and this, you can do this. Ah, okay. No need to check what it is. Yeah, you have a double uh, control to okay. not have a mistake when you get uh, piston, piston. Because uh, the modula knows which uh, piston yeah, you have. When it. you put inside, you need to say that this size here, this size here, okay. and after you can uh, get this. I see you are a quality control fan. Yeah. Everything has to be controlled. <laughs> yes, yes, because uh, no can do mistake. Okay. Ganz kurz übersetzt. Uh, der weiß, um welchen Kolben es heute sich geht. Hier sind Audi uh, Dazza oder Golf 7 Kolben. Und uh, dann sagt er dir sofort, für Golf 7 bitte den Kolben bolzen. Und dann lasert er da drauf, welchen du einfach rausnehmen musst. Das heißt, der Mensch, der das hier einpackt, muss überhaupt nicht wissen, wie so ein Kolben aussieht oder was da rein ist. Das wird ihm direkt gezeigt. Geile Sache. So, after complete packaging, yeah. it is complete and ready for shipping. Yeah. And then you put it again back Yes. I put here, for example, when finish this. Okay. Put here. Also, wenn das alles fertig gepackt ist, dann kommt das alles in die Box, dann wird hier diese eine Order, meine wegen, das ist jetzt eine Subi Performance Order, die wird dann da reingestellt und wird dann gesagt, bestelle also Order complete und dann fährt die runter für äh, Versand quasi. Now the, the order is complete, yeah. for example, yeah. and let's go down for yeah. shipping. Now we are ready to ship. We can call here, the packaging is ready. That was the same uh, packaging from... Uh, yes, yes. Okay, das, war der, das ist jetzt die gleiche äh, Reihe wie, vom, äh, wie von oben, die wir gerade gesehen haben, von dieser Bestellung. Und die ist jetzt hier runtergefahren und die wird jetzt hier vor Ort gepackt. Jetzt haben wir wirklich vom Beginn des Rollings bis zum Ende des äh, fertigen Schippen, wo es dann quasi in den Motor eingebaut werden kann, alles euch gezeigt. Die absolute Endstufe wäre jetzt noch äh, das Forging. Aber das Forging, ähm, the Forging is uh, far away from here. Yes, yes. But here in Italy. In Italy, yeah. all in Italy. Material in Italy, all in Italy. I, I just call the people, tell the people, we show now everything except the Forging. But I said the forging is not so uh, interesting. Yeah. It is only boop. Yes, yes. Okay. Also, vielleicht sind wir uh, irgendwann mal bei der forging Firma angekommen, also bei der Schmiedefirma von den Rohling. Aber uh, ich finde, das war jetzt schon ziemlich beeindruckend. Ich denke mal, das war's für das Video. Das war auch jetzt schon wieder lang genug. Francesco, thank you for your time. Thank you. That was uh, really impressive and interesting. I. I think I will sleep here in this uh, company with all the CNC machines. <laughs> Und ich denke, uh, mit dem nächsten Video wird es weitergehen. Dann zeigen wir euch mal, wie die Pleuel von A bis Z gemacht werden. Danke fürs Zuschauen. Lasst auf jeden Fall den Jungs von Italian RP bei Instagram ein Like da. Und uh, wer mehr Info will, www.italianrp.de. Dort findet ihr eigentlich alle News. Danke. Ciao. Ciao.